easy for you now You got two minutes of my time And I don't really break too easily But I'm worth it Cause I'll slip into your dreams tonight Oh So give me, so give me your all I'll take it, I'll take it tomorrow Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new, then welcome. Happy, happy birthday! Go, go sit down. Y'all excuse my child, but all the commotion back there in general. So today's my three-year-old's birthday, so, well, he'll be four today. And I'm basically trying to decorate and have a little get-together for him. And so I started watering my plants, and I have so many plants, y'all, like, and I'm learning along the way, and I will share what I'm learning with y'all, but... Anyway, I have this aglionema plant. Hold on one second, cause I just watered it, but. So this is my aglionema. This plant is literally one of my favorite plants. Like it is so beautiful to me. It has variegated um, leaves and it turns, you know, like a little red color on the tip. It's just a beautiful plant. When I first got it, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know how to take care of it like at all. And it started dying on me. But then I started, you know, learning how to take care of it, um, doing the right things, giving it the right environment. And if y'all wanna know more about how to take care of plants, I'll try to make more videos like that as well. But yeah, I started uh, taking care of it better and this came back to life. Like it started, you know, perking up. But then today, I went to water it and I was like, Look at, look at it, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see, but it is sad. It's drooping. That's how you know when your plant is either thirsty or unhappy, because that is just gonna be like, droop, just droop right now. So it started drooping. I'm like, oh my God, like what did I do? I haven't, it has not done this in a long time. Like I usually take good enough care of it that it's usually always perky, unless it's really thirsty, but. But anyways, today, you know, I'm gonna water it, try to see if I can get it to perk back up. And one of the things that I did wrong with this plant was um, I overwatered it. So I have, I'm so bad with overwatering my plants. I really am. Like, um, so I bought a water meter. Let me show y'all. So I bought a water meter like this. I think that's what it's called. Or well, it's a three-way meter. So it measures moisture, um, pH, and light. But I just use it for moisture. Yeah, with this aglionema, I really overwatered it. And when I bought my water meter and I started sticking it in the dirt and keeping track of how much moisture it had, that's when it started coming back to life. Because I was like, okay. And another thing I started doing too is bottom watering. Because before I would always water from the top. And I feel like when I did that, I feel like I didn't feel satisfied unless the water started running through and I would just give it too much water, you know, cause I would pour, I would water it and it's like, okay, the water's not coming through yet. So then I feel like I need to add some more. And yeah, that, that method just don't work for me. So I started bottom water and I'm just gonna show y'all how I bottom water because um, it works for me. I like to put mosquito bits in my water just because um, I hate gnats, like they're the worst. And that's one of the things you'll encounter when you become a plant mom. Like you will have gnat problems. So I found mosquito bits and I don't really like to pour them in the soil because I feel like if I pour them in the soil, then it, um, I don't know, gets moldy. But that's a video for another day. I'll show y'all how to use this better. But basically I use mosquito bits in my water or in this bowl. And I pour the water in the bowl and I basically Sarah. fill it up to about here. I did use some of the water already because I had started watering and I was like, wait a minute, I didn't make a video. But anyways, I pour it to about here and then once I sit the plant in there because the plant has drainage holes at the bottom, it literally just drinks the water. Yeah. Like as soon as I sit it in the bowl, the water starts to suck into the pot. Like I'm gonna try to show you how I water. So anytime I water my plants, I use either bottled water um, or distilled water, which is, a more expensive route. I don't always use like purified water. Sometimes I do use fossil water, but my plants don't like it for me, so it doesn't work very well. But basically, what I'm gonna do is just pour the water in here. Now, mind you, I did prep some water before this with my mosquito bits, but just trying to show y'all a demo. Just pour the water in there. And more. 
just sit the plant in there. And it is gonna like start lift, the water's gonna start to lift up, but the plant will literally drink the water to the point where it's gonna shrink down and then you'll be able to just sit the plant in there just fine. See, now it's not running over. One more thing I forgot to add before I go. So when I um, bottom water my plants, I do put the water in the bowl, but not all of it. So remember I told you I prepped my water with my mosquito bit? Um, I use some of the water in the bowl and then I save a little bit of water so I can pour it in the top once I feel like the plant has been watered long enough. Because I feel like it absorbs the water from the bottom to a certain point and then there's the top layer that doesn't really get the moisture. And for me, it's a good indicator, you know, if you want to stick your finger in there. Okay, y'all, so it's been probably about 25 minutes. I'm probably about to take it out of the pot, but huh. Okay, y'all, sorry, I'm back. I'm having a get together with the kids. But anyway, so this is about after 25 minutes. I don't know if y'all can see the difference, but now the plant is like happy. Like all the leaves are up, not drooping. Like especially um, the new leaves, like all the new leaves that were on there literally like went all the way over. I was like, oh my goodness, my poor plant. I'm, I'm literally dehydrating it, but. Now it's happy, as you can see, perked on up. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take it out of the water. Now, if y'all remember, I filled this up to about here and it already just drank all that water because basically what's left over. And now I'm just gonna take my little bit of water I have left over and just top it off. Not too much because, you know, we already watered it. I just want to top it I like that too. And there we are. Happy plant. I was trying to think of a rhyme, but I can't think of one for that. So happy plant, happy life. <laughs> but I just wanted to show y'all like how my plant perks up once it's watered and like how it really makes a difference. So if, if anyone's new to plants and they don't know like how to determine like if it needs water, first of all, get a water meter. Second of all, pay attention to the leaves because the leaves will tell you. Now, I feel like when the plant starts drooping, I feel like it, you shouldn't let it get to that point. Like, I try my best to water my plants before they get to the point to where they're drooping. But hey, it happens sometimes. Sometimes we forget, got busy lives, forget to water the plant. It happens, but pay attention to the leaves because it's going to tell you what's, what's wrong with the plant. But basically, that's that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed my Aglionima video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and be a part of my growing YouTube family. I know it's been a minute since I made a video, but I'm really going to try to do better and try to be more consistent. So please just help me with this journey. Become part of my family. Like, I want to grow. I want y'all to watch me grow. I want y'all to learn with me, go through things with me. So go ahead and hit subscribe. And thank you for watching.